Icebreaker Cards here with another break, and today we have the second box of Upper Deck 2020-2021 Series 1. I'm trying to find where I put my knife at. <laughs> okay, I got this. So, hopefully you saw the first part I put out on release day. It was, it was a decent box. We got a jersey, we got some acetate. So, I'm excited to see what this one holds. Let's see what kind of young guns we're going to get. Cause I didn't even look at the young gun list before I bought and opened these. So, I'm not even sure who's on there. I will most definitely butcher their names. So, please forgive me for that. I haven't heard the commentators say them for some of these guys. And let's just jump right on into it. Pack number one. These packs open so easily. We got a predominant Jack Eichel. That's my man. Jack. <sighs> okay. Cards are sticking. Um, Jack Eichel predominant. I really do like these inserts. They're very different. I collected the sets for the past two years and the portraits were the really similar I'm trying to remember what else there was I know pure energy Velardi Gabe Velardi Young Guns did I get him in the last one and Reed Duke Young Guns, Reed Duke, for the Golden Knights. NHL Worldwide, Tivu Teravainen for Finland. Tivu Teravainen. You know, I want to test something. I want to see, is this bottom row all portraits like last time? because that was a disappointment. I was excited to not get any. And then the whole last row. Tyler Benson, rookie portrait. Well, now I have to check all of them until I get one that isn't a portrait. Let's <laughs> get those out of the way early. Yep, I think I was right. Patches, Max Pacioretty for the Golden Knights. So, if any of you guys are opening this, open the bottom packs first because they're the portraits. And I don't know. I'm not a fan of portraits this year. I'm not really a huge fan of them in general. Connor Hellebuck. Because... I don't know, it's not like some amazing insert. But th that is a big disappointment. You get down to the last stack, your last pack is just a portrait. Sebastian Ajo, portraits. I called it. I like that picture. That one's awesome. They need to put more bench shots in here. That's cool. Sanford coming over the boards. Okay. We got our first canvas. Young Guns. Vitaly Kratsov. UD Canvas. 2019-2020. One season at the AHL for Hartford. 39 games and 15 points. Okay. I've, I know that name. It sounds really familiar. Vitaly Kratsov. I'll take it though, it's a uh, Young Gun Portraits, or Canvas, what am I? Tyler Benson, for the Oilers, did I get him in my last box? I think I'm going crazy. It sucked if my, the two boxes that I got on release day were both the same sequence of Young Guns. Oh yes, oh yes. UD game jersey. 
Robert Thomas. Look at that. He's one of my favorite players. The dude knows how to play the game. Like he and Tarasenko. Oh, that is a nice pull. And it's like the jersey is the tape on his stick. That's cool. I didn't even think that pack was very thick. Leon Dreisaitl, predominant. So I think I got two of the predominant inserts in my last box. Braden Point, UD Canvas. So that might be all that we're getting for predominant. I'm trying to remember. As long as it's the same as last time, we're through with all the portraits, which is nice. NHL Worldwide, the bread man, Artemi Panarin, Russia. So I played NHL 20 the other night, and I decided that I'd be Team Russia. And they have some great names on there. Their stats are high, but I felt like the players were just so slow. It was not, not a good experience. I'm going to have to go back to playing as the Blues. Ooh, we got an exclusives. Charlie Coyle. Why do I always get Bruins stuff? I hate the Bruins. <laughs> Number 30 of 100, Charlie Coyle, UD exclusives. I'll take it, though. These are two good boxes. You know, all we got to get is a Lafreniere. Um, Connor McMichael. Young Guns. Played London, three seasons OHL. Last season was 52 games for 102 points and 157 games for 190 points over three seasons. He's one to watch, Connor McMichael. I like those stats. Canvas checklist, Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson. And there you go. There's all the canvas cards. Getting down to it. I have them stacked a weird way so I can't see how many are left. It's probably about five or six. Yeah, it looks like six. Aside from this one. Jake Ottinger. I know that name. Two AHL seasons, 44 games played, 18 wins, 18 losses, and a 9.14 save percentage. It's not a bad percentage, but... Whoa, I almost knocked you guys over. Got to get the wins up, kid. But that's not all on him. Okay. Is this a base pack? I didn't get a base pack in the other box. Looks like it. That sucks. I buy hobby so I don't have that. Oh, what do we got here? Debut dates. Dominic Kublik. October 4th, 2019. Blackhawks versus Flyers. And zero across the board. He did not have an effect on that game. <laughs> He's a great player. Though. When they got to the playoffs, he was he was lighting up that scoreboard. Ryan Sutter, UD Canvas. Ryan Sutter. Three packs left, and none of them should be portraits. That's the good news. Rookie retrospective, Igor Shosturkin. Fifth in wins and fifth in shutouts for the Rangers. Okay, two packs left.
Josh Norris. Young Guns. Josh Norris. One NHL season, three games played, and nothing across the board. And some last pack mojo. Let's see what we got here. I think it might be another rookie retrospective because I think I got two of those in the last box. But we're about to find out. Oh no, it's that Dazzlers. Okay. Connor McDavid, Dazzlers. Such a shiny card. Well, that's a PC hit for sure. Dazzlers. And there you go. That is the box. So, a quick little recap. Let me adjust you guys. Uh, we got UD Exclusives, Charlie Coyle, 30 out of 100. UD Game Jersey, Robert Thomas, Connor McMichael Young Guns, who seems to be a very good player. We'll see what happens when he gets to the, the big leagues, though. Norris, Ottinger, Benson, Duke, and Velarde. And there you have it. That is my second box of Series 1, 2020-2021. If you guys really like this stuff, oh, I almost forgot. We got a UD ca canvas of Vitaly Kratsov. If you guys like this stuff, get this video to, let's say, 50 likes, and I'll buy another box. Or I'll try to get my hands on a case again. Otherwise, we'll get some of whatever comes out next, and I'll try to get some release day videos going. As long as my... LCS can get his hands on stuff. But thank you guys for watching, especially if you've made it this far. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. I uh, post videos every weekend. That's the goal. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.